Jorge Solal, Pa Victoria Rosal, and Vito Huizer from the movie Valentina. Welcome to yeah. the show! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, yeah. I'm so pleased to have you here. You know what to do, so we're gonna sit. One, two, three! Wow! <laughs> you did awesome! I you actually, you actually fell down harder than I thought you would. I thought you were gonna be more careful. No, 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 I let it, I let it go. Oh, okay. nice. Right. Well, we like know a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> nice, thank you. Well, thank guys, you. I'm very happy to have you here, especially because I mean we are longtime friends, Victoria. I love you, amiga. And Jorjito. Mm -hmm. So it's very, it's very nice to have you here because we want to talk about about the movie Valentina. De la cual, obviamente, fuiste protagonista, the lead. And you were there too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a small character uh, there. There's um, no small characters. You were yeah, doing, well, I loved it, yeah. Yeah, it was good, it was good. But <laughs> tell us a little bit about the movie. Tell everybody that doesn't know what it is about and what are the main topics that you're touching with this story? Because it's very touchy, yeah, no, I want to say. Mm. The, the, film, the film's about a woman that's uh, trying to get her daughter back after she gets kidnapped by the coyotes, you know, when she's bringing wow. her from Mexico. And then when she finds out where the wife of the coyote lives, she goes and kidnaps the wife to get her daughter back. Ooh. And um, I remember when I was writing the, the, when I wanted to write a film specifically for Victoria, and, and um, I said, well, how do I see you know, the phobias of a woman struggling to try to get her daughter back? And, and I asked my mom, I was like, what would make you feel really um, that anxious? She goes, not to know where my kids are. So right. I was like, I need to make a film about that. And, um, and you know, I write for women, I direct for women. And, you know, my company, Mighty Aphrodite Pictures, is surrounded by, by, by uh, women. So, that, that was my whole goal, to make a film about a woman that's actually showing more layers that are not dependent about a man. Okay. And it's, it's more about her daughter. So why, why is it that you are so interested in, in writing for women? And why is it that they're so important in your life? Because this is something that you mention every yeah. time with all your scripts yeah. also. So yeah, take us a little bit into that journey. Well, the thing is that like for every uh, female lead, there's 15 male leads. Out, you okay. know, wow. films that are out every year. Feminist, we have. Yeah, here. And, you know, and you know what? Yes, I, I don't. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't call myself a feminist just yet, but I, 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 I don't. I think I would be Not a terrible yet. feminist. But um, but my goal is to be able to tell stories uh, about the many layers that the women have. For instance, there's so many things that as men we can get away with. Yeah. The women get looked down upon for that. So I look at all those things and I say, how can I apply it to a woman, um, and, and make it look either beautiful or just show a story that really needs to be told from that perspective. So, so that's why I do it. I mean, there's our, you know, we have all these movies with men, which, you know, they're great, but right. show a woman, you know, for once. Y encima enfocado también en el tema de, we were talking about this in another show, about Latinos, yes. you know? The, the, this, you know, underrepresented yes, yes. racial, ethnic group that we are. Yeah, and that's the thing too, you know, because so. uh, that was my whole thing about making a film in Spanish. Um, you know, I know she would have pulled it off in English perfectly well, but I, I said I wanted to make something in Spanish. Because you're in LA and everyone in LA, you know, we're all Latinos. I mean, right. the, the majority of the population in, in California, but particularly in LA, is Latino since like, we're always speaking Spanish, you know, we're doing all these we things speak all the Spanish time. Spanish at home. So it's at like, let me. Yeah. So yeah. That, at the bank, was... we even yeah. write, you oh, know, yeah. the checks in Spanish, mm -hmm. and why not? What a better yeah. way to, to make a film and um, try to diversify by actually making a film in Spanish that touches on, on, on a very important topic, which is immigration. Right. As a DACA recipient, I oh. thought it was, uh, it was important for me to. To make that, uh, to make that, to tell that story in that specific form, and um, not being influenced by immigration, but it being an issue in the movie. Okay. Before yeah. we come back to the movie, I gotta like tap into this. You're a DACA recipient. I am. Yes. Uh, how, what's the what's going on right now with with your status? I mean, you know, I, I, my status um, doesn't expire into 2019, but. Uh, it's 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 terrifying to think that I'm here today and I might not be here in two years. You know? But is there a role no, for no, citizenship? I'm gonna marry him. Yeah. <laughs> if anything <laughs> happened, yeah. I would uh, give you a paper. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna marry you. <laughs> but um, it, 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 do you have a road to citizenship? Is there a path no. that they laid out? There's actually no road to citizenship. So uh, this is this is my third time renewing the the DACA, mm -hmm. and um, it's just pretty much a, a paper that allows you to work and and be here, um, not even lawfully. Just it's a deferred action. So. Um, my options are limited to what I can and can't do. I can't leave the country. I can't. I could travel in the states, but I, I try. I, I, I don't do it just because I don't. I'm, I'm afraid really? that. Not even yeah. within the United no, States. No, I mean I, I, I did before, but every, every since, ever since the, um, the administration um, changed. 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 I, I try to be secure and not do a lot of things that I used but to. But making films and doing business here in the states mm -hmm. hasn't allowed you some sort of protection. No, no unfortunately, wow. no. Uh, my options, like I said, are very limited. But you know what? Um, 
as you guys know I me mean, when I work, you know, there's really no limits for me in life. So to me, it's just a piece of paper. And what I can say is that, you know, you can take that piece of paper from me, but I'm not going anywhere. Good. I mean, I'm here to stay and I'm here to make films and I'm here to contribute to society in one way or another. Well, you have a home and here that I like Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. So do you have any experiences that helped you connect with this character that loses this? I mean, as far as immigration stories or people losing their family members? No, really, not directly. So it was it was a challenge. It was very tough for me, but um, it's about just being able to 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 feel what he wrote in the story and connect as a human being in, in what Valentina was living in that specific situation. You know, you don't you don't need to leave that before or know like directly somebody. But I know millions of people are struggling with that type of things. And just that makes me feel so upset and, and stressed about it. So that was my connection, basically. You're both Mexican. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you as well? This is the director of photography in the film. Yeah. Yes. You're yes. Mexican as Partly, well? Yeah. Is part of being uh, uh, a Mexican uh, having to confront the possibility of being separate from parts of your family and not knowing whether you're going to be able to reconnect to them because a lot of Mexican families travel to the United States for one purpose or the other and, you know, not being able to come back. And then they're is, trapped. Yeah. Is, that, is that a reality in Mexican families in Mexico oh, yeah. that families yes. are split up? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I've been fortunate enough not to have to face that reality because um, I'm the only one in my family that um, is under DACA. Everyone else is fine. Yes. But you know what? Um, I, I do have friends and, you know, and close friends who, who face that, you know, All and right. like I have a friend who's mom recently got deported and know. you know it's like well, what do you do you really can't do anything right and uh it's unfortunate but i'm hopeful that things will change soon now um going back to the film yeah. did you look to other strong um female characters in movies uh you know to write for this character because when i saw the trailer i was like she's like the latina foxy brown you know it kind of reminded <laughs> yeah. me of pam greer just going out there and grabbing the gun and you know threatening the other lady with the leopard you know skirt yeah, uh, no, was absolutely. she an inspiration <laughs> no yeah absolutely i saw there's this uh there's this foreign film i love foreign films and there's this uh foreign film um called two days one night with marion cotillard where um, right. she loses her job and um, she just has to get votes to be able to stay in her job. And I was like, I want to do that, but I want, to do, I want it to be more personal. And I said, right. what a better way to have a mother and daughter story. Um, dude, I was really taken aback by your story because I freak out about putting stuff online, like on my vlogs and all that stuff. Cause I'm like, it's not gonna look good. The editing is gonna suck. And then I was reading that you did a film with a hundred dollar budget? Yes, my, my first film <laughs> with, an, and with an iPhone, yeah. with an iPhone too. Yeah, with an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, that was my things. first. That was my first feature film, uh, Blue Line Station, that's played in uh, forty four festivals now. And I said, I just want to do it. I grabbed my phone. I got it. I, I put a little anamorphic adapter, and I said, I'm gonna go for it, and I did it. And okay. I mean, I say it's a hundred dollar budget, but that's what we use for like transportation, you know. But because we didn't really have any money at all. Did the actors get paid? Right? No, none of us got paid. No, no, no. And you know, we almost got arrested because we were using the train station, oh, and we no. couldn't pay for. <laughs> for oh, our ticket so no. they were like yeah so we had to like you know let's get back in the train you know and you know and then as soon as the cops would get in we'll get out and just you know exit <laughs> uh -oh. but it, you know it was it was a, it was a great experience and it really um showed me a lot and prepared me to do valentina okay yeah because if i had decided to do valentina first i would never been able to pull it off so the way valentina was shot it kind of reminds me a little bit of birdman were you inspired by oh. it in some way I don't, by I don't, the way oh, they follow the i've actually never seen <laughs> birdman really never no 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 okay. and I sh yeah no um, I just, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a fan of... <laughs> I uh, love that I, I'm, movie. I'm not a... Yeah. I don't know, Ligue, yeah, I gave you a burn one. Yeah. And he was like, no, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like yeah, it. and I still Wait, haven't what, seen what do you it. like, Michael Keat? No, I just don't... Um, <laughs> Say it like it is, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of... I don't even know the director's name. No, um, yes, you know, but well, you Well, because I'm confusing with Alfonso Cuaron and... No. Uh, Irañito. Yeah, Gonzalez no, he's great. Iñarito. Look, my huge respect. Alejandro González Iñárritu. Mad respect to him. Awesome, you know, great. Um... But I just I try to watch stuff with with directors that represent uh, women, you know. Okay. You know, so you put women wait, so you won't watch a movie if it's starring a man? No, I won't. Really? No. I know, I know, because there's a lot of them. I've seen a lot of them. Um, but <laughs> I mean, so, so, boy, like, I don't want I don't want to challenge He's you, deeper. but I mean, it's not fifteen to one. There's are movies. Well, that it's are probably it's probably thirty to one. Yeah. Not no, 15. I think it's a little, but okay, I'm I mean, not gonna get into a, a mathematical yeah. argument. But I think there's a little more women starring. In no, but don't get me wrong. I'll, I will watch movies with men in them. Of course, I mean I'm not secluded to watching those movies. Right. It's just that as an artist and as, as I'm developing my craft, I um, to me watching a movie is a very sacred uh, ritual. You know, mm -hmm. I have mad respect for movies. So if I'm gonna take time to watch something, it'll be for me to learn. And and what a better way than to watch movies with women in them? <laughs> as is what I aspire what to. What about your inspiration? 
creation process? Is there something specific that you do or that you like doing when it comes to writing? Because I've had the chance to read a ton, well, not a ton, but many of your scripts, and they are all different. They're all amazing. Okay. Um, but what is, what is, where you get your inspiration from? Not just the woman part, but like when you sit and write. Like I said, I just try to think of subjects that could uh, possibly make people uncomfortable and try to make them beautiful. And I mean, that's just my, my definition. Right. Um, because what I make might not be beautiful to someone else, but um, I, I'm, I'm really inspired by just like going to a restaurant and watching people and just if they're eating, I'm just thinking, what are they thinking? Why did mm. they pick that? Why do they do that? So um, it's just it's a it's a different process all the time, but it's always trying to look for um, stories that are that have been told, but that not that are being from my perspective not being tokenized. So I want to make something original in that sense. But it's different all the time, you know. Jorge, give, give us the scoop. What was it like directing Vivian? You know <laughs> what? She was such a diva. No, 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 no. no, no. Talk no. about the lines. How there no. were no lines. Well, there was no lines for her. It was completely what? improvised. Oh, yeah. really? Now let me tell you something. We had about uh, 17 pages to shoot that day, and we did them under two hours. So we had to do a lot of one takes. You had to do 17 pages worth of dialogue. No, not her, but in oh. general, that no, no, whole, okay. no, 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 that no, whole, no, that whole no, scene no. in the furniture store. It wow. was about 17 pages, and we had to do. Um, some of them we had to turn into one long takes and and it was pretty fun it was fun but it was it, you know it was it was new for all of us right I think um, mm -hmm. I mean, listen, I'm crazy. Like, if you give me a phone and a story, I'll go for it. Salita uh, con nuevo, which baby. is very crazy. How yeah. the interaction with you, Victoria, and then Vito, and then Jorge being directed by him, because he directed, produced, uh, written. He does everything. Know. Wrote, you know what is very interesting everything. about Jorge? That he has the entire movie done before he started. <laughs> Él ya le editó. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, entender su forma de trabajar y poderle dar lo que él quiere, es un proceso que va, o sea, haces la película antes de empezarla. Pero ese día que hicimos todas las escenas de, de la mueblería, donde pudimos compartir tú y yo, casi todo eso fue improv. And it was amazing, yeah. because then you have this very natural interaction yeah. with the characters. And Vito, it was amazing, because as you can tell, he's very quiet, because he, he doesn't speak <laughs> Spanish at all. Oh my oh God, God. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're speaking Spanish. No, no, no. You're Mexican though, right? Partly. Back Partly. 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 But he doesn't yeah. speak Spanish, so okay. he, was, he was giving directions to him in yeah. Spanish and he was like, okay. Okay, yeah. Jorge, I gotta be honest with you. If you really want to make a statement, a feminist statement, or whatever you want to call it, you should get a female DP, okay? Because there's none of those. Oh. Where are they? No, 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 no. But, no, 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 but, no, no, but, no, no, he's a Jew. But here, here's the thing. I'm messing with no, you. No, but, <laughs> no, but you know, now that you mention it, I, I, I don't think I'm a feminist at all, and I respect feminists out there, and I hope they don't hate me for this, but when it comes to, um, I, I think my part as, as, a, as a director is being able to offer roles to women, you know? Right. Um, I, I don't think um, g gender should define what you do in life or sexual orientation for that but matter. But what you watch, it should. <laughs> but we should. But you should watch my movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Please, no. <laughs> so how did Vito and Jorge come together as a team? How was that like? If you want to tell us how you met him and yeah, why, no. you know, the relationship developed. <laughs> we, we shot a short film for uh, Collaboration Filmmakers Challenge Festival where you write the script in two weeks and you shoot wow. the f short film in two weeks. And um, I, met, had, I had emailed him for like um, a couple months before and then it never happened. But then we got together for that and we did a great short film and I was like, we got to work again. Well, I, from my perspective, I was like, we got to work again together. <laughs> and I think the feeling was mutual, I don't know. Because yeah. um, yeah, we finished and I gave him the script and then you read it and I don't know. If you what was his first impression? No, no, he writes in English. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Yeah. Translates and I made, I had he writes script. everything yeah. in English. Mm -hmm. Everything he writes is in English. Right. But then and you have to translate right away. Who translated away? for you? Me. You no. translated. But on the yeah. spot? Yeah. Also, yeah. the actor? Yeah. Yeah. Call on. Did you translate yeah. the entire script for everybody or do you translate your own lines on the spot? Sort of well, for everyone too, because like your scene partners, yeah, you should tell them. That's this, a very interesting way of working. Yeah, it was yeah. tough. It was tough. I mean, but it's, it was beautiful. Yeah. I saw an interview beautiful. where you where you said like, don't think about it, just do it. Yeah. And it seems like you really apply that yeah. all across no, the board. Totally, definitely. But you I think it came out perfect like that also with the improv part because it makes it so much more natural. Yeah. Yes. 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 And more yes. organic. As soon as the movie finished, when I went to see it, I moved to Victoria's side and I was like, it really touched me. And the whole improvisation thing could turn out to be in your advantage. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's as natural as it gets. I mean, you are really 
conversing. Com- yeah, doing it on the spot. And yeah. I just want to make one more thing, and I can't wait to see the movie, by the way. And, and, and yeah. you know, the Juicer Trader, it's, it's very powerful. Yeah. You're DP, you're acting, you're directing, you guys are already on point. Yeah. But I just want to make one suggestion for you to open up to. Okay. Dennis <laughs> likes to dress and drag every once in a while. <laughs> Can you at least consider making a movie of a man acting like a you woman? Actually, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I, I do. I have a script. Bye. I have a script. It'll be my fourth film, hopefully. Okay, perfect. But yes, yes, yes I am I'm working here. on that.